Before I start this video guys, I would like to announce something. I am on this website called Vinny now. Its main target is to help investors just grow from you know trading or whatever plan they may have. And I offer a couple memberships so you can check this out, link in the description below. Each one offers something different um, and it goes up based off of what I offer. And of course, if you want one-on-one -on -one training, I also offer that up here as well. So just check that out, link in the description below. Let's get right to this video. What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be discussing NEO, just the overall price action that it's doing today. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get right into this technical analysis. Now, if you've been watching the market today, specifically if you've been watching NEO, it's been very, very disappointing to say the least. Now, on Friday, we had that monster push up on the market, right? We were really going for it. We pushed up really huge and then... We pretty much ended that Friday past this low right here. I said, hey, in that Neo video before you know the market closed, I said, really need to get past this low right here. We barely did it that on Friday, right? We barely did it. We barely skated by. Now today, what was the story? What's happened? Well, we pushed up. We were pushing up. We hit highs of 36.75. Neo was looking good. It was looking like, hey, we're going to get that continuation. Neo is about to you know start pushing up from here. I think we found a bottom. Unfortunately, though, the exact opposite happened, guys. The exact opposite happened, and then we just fell down. And right now, you know, since the morning, pretty much staying in the same area. This candle, this small candle right here, is not doing anything. Now, if you take a look at the overall market, though, it's a little bit of a different story. We we came down from all the way right here. Came all the way back up, but now we're just hanging out. You know, we're barely red. We were a little bit green earlier parts, but we're kind of just hanging out, right? So the market came back and pushed up, and Neo, it, you know, pushed up and came down. So it's kind of like the exact opposite. So Neo is not doing too hot right now. Now, I made a video on my second channel about the chip shortage. I would discuss that. So if you haven't seen that, link in the description below talked about the chip shortage and basically what's happening today is that neo is shutting down its plant so here's an article right here where it just talks about the whole chip shortage for neo so it's saying that production is expected to resume after five working days so it starts today ends on friday so the shutdown starts today ends on friday and hopefully they resume now, it goes on to say the long-term outlook for the supply of chips remains uncertain. So there's a possibility that NEO might not open up after this five-day window, depending on how many chips they get. So that's important to note, guys, that if it gets really bad, then NEO may have to shut down for longer. And we've already seen this in the United States with Ford. I know they're shutting down a plant or so. And we go on to read the article, and I talked about that in my other video, basically saying that this whole shutdown is basically putting them back 500 cars. So they're losing 100 cars a day, basically, delivery-wise. So they were expected to deliver, you know, 20,000, 20,500 cars um, for this first quarter, but now they're expected to only deliver 19,500. Now, this number could potentially keep going down if the prolong, if they prolong the whole hiatus with the production of their cars. So that is important to note. So they're losing about 100 cars delivery per day when they're shut down. So 500 basically for this whole week period that they're shut down. So we're going to have to keep a look at it, guys. Now, I will say that if things get bad and we they do have to shut down more, then you might see a, another reaction here. So I think this was when the initial news came out. So we may see another reaction here if it keeps getting you know prolonged and they have to keep shutting down. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen with the NEO. Overall, though, if you're looking for the long term, I do believe that this is a steal NEO no matter what. Even if it falls down you know, lower than this, I do believe this is a very, very good steal on NEO. Just based off of its all-time high level, it's down basically 50% from its all-time high levels. So that's a huge amount. That's a very huge amount. Um, it'd be very hard for me to believe that this loses you know, 60 70%, but anything's possible. Anything's possible in this market, guys. With the whole chip shortage, we do not know how it's going to be affected. So anything is possible, and it's all about investor confidence. 
But from a technical standpoint, what I focus on and you know, a trading standpoint, definitely want to see it get above this level right here. The support at 3560, 3570. Definitely want to see it get past above that support. We're underneath it right now. Don't really like that. So I'm gonna be watching this very closely today and just basically seeing how we hang out and do we push up, you know, tomorrow and to finish the week strong. So that's what I'm looking out for, guys. Overall, though, just want to bring this news to you about the chip shortage and the technical analysis from Neil. Other than that, guys, appreciate you. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.